Amen. I want to pray for the sick. But you cannot pray for the sick without telling them the will of God. The will of God is healing for the sick. For you to be healed and keep your healing permanently, there are a few things you need to do. Very simple. Very, very simple. By the way, this is the class of healing without medication. You don't take anything, you receive your healing. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from all their distraction. Amen, distraction. What did he send for him to heal them? His word. Ezekiel said, the spirit entered me when he spoke to me. So when I speak, the spirit of the Lord will enter you to heal you completely. Amen. How do you get discouragement? When somebody says something to discourage you, you get discouraged. Is it not so? The same way you are hearing a word that will encourage you and bring healing into your body now. Amen. I thought you would say amen loud and clear. Amen. John chapter 14. New King James. Verse 23. John chapter 14. New King James. Verse 23. Jesus answered and said to him, If anyone love me, he will keep my word. If anyone love me, he will keep my word. And I will say, if anyone love me, he will obey my teaching. My father will love him. We will come to him and make our home with him. If anyone love me, you cannot say, I love you. Kissing is not the definition of love. I thought you would say amen. amen. Judas betrayed Jesus by kissing. And today, for me to show you that I love you, I kiss. When we finish the service here, you will see some lava in the street. They got themselves tight. Kissing. Get a house, go and do it in the house. The moment they get a house, everyone will be there. His face will be in the north. The other one, his face will be in the south. Kissing in the street has demonic anointing. The proof is that when they get into one house, they will be fighting every day. Am I lying? If anyone loves me, Jesus said, you will keep my word. You will obey my teaching. My father will love you. We will come. God and Jesus will come in your house and dwell with you. All the sickness we say, goodbye. All the pain. Can Jesus dwell with pain? The one that you endure on the cross is enough. The pain that Jesus took away from you, you don't need to go and collect them again. You are sick because you have refused to obey the teaching of the Lord. The teaching, every teaching, you put them in practice. Every teaching, to every teaching, there is a test that must come. And you must pass the test. Even if you are a child of the principal of the school, you still have to write your test to pass to another class. Is it not so? Say this to me. Your sickness in my body. You have been a test. Now you are a testimony. Get out of my life. I'm healed in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Now, when Jesus say, if anyone hear my voice, he did not say you must be a pastor, you must be an Asha, you must be a, an apostle to hear my voice. If anyone, what is the meaning of anyone, by the way? 
Can somebody explain to me what is the meaning of anyone? What does anyone mean? Eh? So, uh, whoever. Uh, what does whoever mean? Eh? All of us. What does all of us mean? Because if you say all of us, I will not be part of you. Everyone. What is the meaning of everyone? Come on, talk to me, people. Good. I'm very happy with your answer. Do you know that every one of us is in the Bible? Every one of us, the living and the dead, all of us, because Jesus is the judge of the living and the dead. Every one of us here, when the God is speaking, he will never leave you alone. He will always put a bracket. It is your responsibility to put your name there. If you don't put your name there, that means he's not talking to you. If you put your name there, you will hear him clearly. The Bible speaks of a certain man who had a demon for a long time. Now, remove certain men, put your name there. If we sit down one by one, you will say, my problem started five years ago. You will say, my problem started from the day I was born. I don't know how do you know that from the day you were born, your problem also started from there. So, the Bible speaks of a certain man. They never gave us the name of this man. What happened to this man? He wore no clothes. Nor did he live in a house but in the graveyard. You and me, you know that the graveyard is not a good accommodation for somebody that has a right mind. It must be for somebody that his mind is twisted. If you see somebody wandering the graveyard, he did not go to bury anybody but is busy wandering. There you know. No matter how well dressed he is, no matter how naked he is, then you know something is wrong with this one. Now, the Bible is telling us about a certain man from the city who had a demon for a long time. Everybody disqualified this man. They say he will spend the rest of, of his life in the graveyard. He's already dead before he died. He knows the graveyard in and out. That is what everybody saw. But God in heaven saw him as an evangelist. Amen. I thought you would say amen loud and clear. Amen. There are many of them here. They put up a nice suit. It is casualty. He's fainting to look beautiful. But the problem the person is going through, everything is dead. There is nothing to show that he's living. I want to tell you, today you are free in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Receive your freedom right where you are in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The Bible speaks of a certain man who had dropsy. Jesus took him and healed him and let him go. This man, dropsy by the way, because today we are talking a lot about definition. What is the meaning of dropsy? Dropsy means Somebody is suffering from swelling of the body. Part of your body is swollen. Some of those parts are private parts. You cannot show it to anybody. It is your secret. You cannot share it with anybody. Certain men suffering from abdominal swelling of his body. What happened to this man? Look, chapter 14, verse 2. Jesus took the man and healed him and let him go. Verse 3. Jesus asked the Pharisee, an expert in the law, is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath or not? Continue. But they remained silent. So, taking all of the man, he healed him and sent him away. 
Somebody said, Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Touch every organ of my body that is swollen. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let the pain disappear. Let the swollen disappear. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. When do you want Jesus to do it? When do you want Jesus to do it? Receive your healing in Jesus' name. The Bible speaks of a certain blind man called out, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus said to the man, receive your sight. I don't know where you are sitting. This is your time of healing. It will not come twice. Today is your day of healing. I wish you to listen to me, not with your physical ears. Listen to me with your spiritual ears that is in your heart. And receive your healing right where you are in the name of Jesus Christ. We are talking about a certain man, blind. Jesus was coming near Jericho. A certain blind man, set by the road begging. A blind man, a certain blind. You can take your name and put it there. If this blind man receives a miracle, you also you will receive your miracle. Yeah. Every one of us, we are in the Bible. Anytime you see a certain woman, a certain man, say, that's me. Today I'm receiving the answer of my problem. Yeah. The man has been blind. I don't know how many years, maybe from birth. Today you are born again, but you cannot see your future. It's a problem. You are a blind person. We will start. Tomorrow will be Monday, Tuesday. You don't know what will happen on Monday. You don't know what will happen on Tuesday. But some people know what will happen on Monday. Some people can't wait to, they are keeping the, in the, the, the eyes in the watch. Monday, come quickly because my money is coming. God show me. It's coming for sure. I have it in the name of Jesus. I pray for somebody. Your expectation shall not be cut off in Jesus' name. My blind eyes eyes. open. Open. Begin to see my future. future. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Go ahead. Open your mouth. Pray in the name of Jesus. Jesus, touch my eyes. Open my eyes. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, touch my eyes, open my eyes. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Jesus, mighty name, we pray. We are talking about a certain man. We've spoke about the first one. He had a demon for a long time. The second one had an abnormal swelling of the body. The third one was a blind one. The fourth one. This certain man had an infirmity for 38 good years. How many years? 38 good years, Jesus said to him, Arise! Immediately the man was made well. What did Jesus say to him? Arise. He did not say to him, Your sickness, your high blood pressure, your sugar diabetes, your whatsoever. He just said to him, What? Arise. And the Bible said, Immediately he was made well. But you need to know this man. In the book of John, chapter 5, verse 5, the Bible says, Now a certain man said, That's me. That's me. Who was there, who had an infirmity of 38 years. 
Jesus knew that he already had been in that condition a long time. My friend, Jesus knows that your problem has been there and you've been in that condition for a long time. I want to tell you that that problem has come to an end today. In the name of Jesus, house of Nazareth. Jesus said to him, rise, take up your bed and walk. And immediately the man was made well, took up his bed and walked. My friend, that Jesus never changed. It's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Close your eyes right where you are. Lift up your hand. Father, I thank you for the faith that you have increased in the heart of your sons and your daughter to receive healing immediately. Amen. To receive healing immediately. Amen. To receive healing immediately. Amen. Among these your sons and your daughter, many of them have made a vow that if you heal them from cancer, from sugar diabetes, from high blood pressure, from HIV and AIDS, they will save you for the rest of their life. Yeah. My Bible say, when Jesus came into Peter's house, he saw Peter's mother and Lola in bed with a fever. He touched her hand and the fever left her. And the mother-in-law began to save Jesus. People there, people here, Lord, like the mother-in-law of Jesus that want to save you, but they are sick. I ask you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, touch them, heal them now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Receive the touch of Jesus. Amen. Receive the touch of Jesus. Amen. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Receive the touch of Jesus. Amen. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I know you touch me. My life will never be the same. Jesus, you touch me. My life will never be the same. Oh, my. Oh, you touch me. My life will never be the same. I know you touch me. My life will never be the same. Jesus, you touch me. My life will never be the same. Emmanuel, you were Yeah. to the Lord. Begin to say, thank you, Lord, for touching me. Thank you for healing me. I'm healed. I'm free. Jesus Christ of Nazareth was pierced for our transgression. He was crushed for our iniquity. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him. By his wound, I am healed. By his wound, I'm healed. Jesus Christ of Nazareth was pierced for our transgression. He was crushed for our iniquity. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him. By his wound, I am here. By his wound, I am free. By his wound, I am here.
Alléluia. Il s'est désumé. Jesus, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Jesus himself took my sins. Away. Just to heal me. Just to deliver me. By the blood of Jesus, I'm free from sin. There is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. The condemnation of sickness and diseases in my body, in my house, in my business have come to an end forever. The sickness and diseases in my body shall not arise again. I'm free from pain. I'm healed in the name of Jesus. I'm free in the name of Jesus Christ. If you believe that, say amen. If you believe that, move to seven people. Tell them, I'm a winner. I'm a winner. I'm a winner. singing. All the brothers sing with me. I am a winner. I am a winner, not a loser. Brothers, follow me. Don't sing like women. I am a winner. I am a winner. I am a winner, not a loser. One, two, three. I am a winner. I am a winner, not a loser. You know when you talk to your wife, you say, ah. Sister, let me hear from you. One, two, three. Sing with me. I am a winner. I am a winner, not a loser. Everybody sing with me. I am a winner. I am a winner, not a Not a loser. When I'm the devil, like it's a 
no, I am a winner, I am a winner, not a loser. Where that they don't let you turn, I am a winner, I am a winner, not a loser. Everybody come and join me, praise the Lord. Joy, joy, joy. He is giving me joy in my heart. 